Hello everyone, this is Tina. In this video, we're gonna have a very basic example how to create and execute a query. Okay, so first let me introduce a demo for you. Uh, in this demo, we have uh, two objects. One is a person and the other one is the address. Okay, and for the person and address, it's a uh, one-to-one -one unidirectional because in our address there's no relationship about the person okay from address side but uh, from a person we can see it's a one-to-one -one relationship between person and address and i have a cascade persist here okay uh, which currently is not used and uh, another thing is in the persist.xml i have this statement added this statement added is uh, when I start an application, it will insert some data for us. Uh, and all the query is a SQL query inside of this SQL file. I just insert one address and insert uh, three. Yo, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's not uh, one to one person has uh, one address. One person has this address. One person have this address. So it's not a one to one now. Okay, it's gonna. It should be address belongs to one person. One person only. It should be many to one. Sorry. Okay. Uh, from the statement I put it here, it should be many to one, which is uh, one person. One address belongs to can be belong to multiple person, and a person only has uh, one address. Okay, so it's uh, many to one. So it's not a one to one. Okay, sorry. And uh, uh, what goes back like um, when it at, when the application starts, it's gonna run the test data SQL. In test data SQL, we just insert uh, one uh, record in address and the three records in the person. And here, uh, I make uh, this primary key to be none because I want the database to auto generate. And in order to, for this case, in order to auto generate, you have to make sure your primary key is uh, uh, using uh, identity as a generation strategy. If it's a sequence, it won't sequence or table down the work. Okay, and I have a fix here which is because in current version of Hibernate, by default, it's gonna use in sequence for the MySQL and add this uh, uh, fix here is to make sure Hibernate we are using identity as default for MySQL. Or another way is here you can specify the strategy to be identity. So basically, this is a setup for the project so far. And now we have to create a query, right? To save our time, I also have the main method set up. Basically, I have a main and I have an entity manager factory which start with our persistent unit. Okay, this value here is the persistent unit value here. Okay, and uh, uh, for my creator query, I think you guys are very familiar with this part. When we get an entity manager, right? And uh, here, how the first query we wrote type the query okay here by default is object okay if you uh, want to use object you can do like it now um, like uh, another one okay query equals em dot create a query uh, this query when you is a jpql which is a query based on entity object and uh, the fields or properties from person and uh, if I do like this, it's gonna be a uh, typed query. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. It is gonna be query. Let me take a look at it. Ah, okay. uh, query. And uh, this is one way, but uh, this way the query get for that is a return for the object uh, object, and you have to do a done casting. So most likely I don't using this query itself. I, I'm gonna using typed query. 
for type the query, when we create a query, we have to give a type, which is from person, and we can give a type, which is the return type for this one is a person dot class. So for this case, I can return, which is a type to query. And here I can give a person. So no longer need to what? No long no long longer need to using down casting, okay. So this is our preferred way. You give a type here, and also when we're using create a query, this is gonna be the JPQL. And for JPQL, you don't need to have a select, okay? Like we give an alias. You can do like this way. Or you can, since uh, we select the whole person, you don't need to have a select here. It will return all the person for you. Okay, return all the fields in the person table for you. And then how to get the result? So here we are returning for uh, all the person object, in, uh, sorry, all the records in a table from um, the person table. So it's gonna be a list. And uh, we can have a list, which is a person, person. And in our person, I already had the, I already have the, what's the two stream method. So I just uh, print out the person list. Okay. So now let's let us run. So here is the insert statement, which is inside a test SQL. And we have two query here. Okay. The first, because for all the many to one, to one, we'll talk about it later. To one, it's a eager loading. So when I uh, search for a person, it will also search for all the fields about the address. That's why we see two queries here. Okay. So when we see the person list, you can see it's array. You're gonna have person one, John Doe, and also address. And also for the person two, person two also have the same thing, person two. And this is the same address. And for the person three, and also have the same address, okay. So this is our first demo, basically just to show you how to create a query and uh, this is my preferred way. You can also create a query to return a query object for you. I don't use in this one very often. And uh, we will talk other like uh, get a single, single result others in the future. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.